When the Chinese traders come in, and they come in 20 at a time. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. It's the greatest theft in the history of the world. Is U.S. afraid of China and Russia? Beijing has questioned the United States' designation of China and Russia as leading threats to national and international security, finding it contradictory alongside U.S. claims of global military dominance. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Geng Shuang responded Wednesday to White House National Intelligence Director Dan Coats's testimony the previous day at the Capitol, where the former senator argued that Beijing and Moscow were plotting to challenge Washington's influence and undermining democracy worldwide. Geng praised his country's relationship with Russia as being as it's at the best level in history, contending that the two have safeguarded the peace, security and stability of the region and the world together. The United States is the world's number one power, and its military strength is unparalleled. If even the United States feels that threats are in all directions, what should other countries do? Geng asked noting that it appeared Washington was afraid of a looming threat. China and Russia have grown closer in recent years over what they jointly view as an expansionist U.S. doctrine harmful to their own agendas at home and abroad. While President Donald Trump initially sought to work more closely with his country's top two military rivals, the first two years of his administration have left the U.S. further alienated from China and Russia. Last fall, Vostok 2018, the largest military exercise the world has seen since the end of the Cold War, was conducted on the Siberian border between Russia and China. Hundreds of thousands of Russian troops were joined by Chinese soldiers. Joint Russian-Chinese naval exercises are occurring with increasing frequency, not just in the Pacific, but also in the Baltic Sea and the Arctic Ocean. The U.S for its part, still maintains a substantial lead in terms of strength, reach and technology, but the federal United States Institute of Peace found in November that the U.S. might struggle to win, or perhaps lose, a war against China or Russia and is particularly at risk of being overwhelmed should its military be forced to fight on two or more fronts simultaneously. The U.S. is making it clear that Russia is to blame after two warships nearly collided in the Pacific on Friday, but while the incident was another tense military encounter involving the two countries, the fact that it took place in China's backyard is raising concerns about growing cooperation between Moscow and Beijing to challenge U.S.'s position as the preeminent global power. Russia and China have each sought to expand their global reach by challenging American military dominance in the air and at sea. But while both countries are have been getting bolder, evidence suggests they have done so independently. In addition to asserting that Russia's relationship with China has reached an unprecedented level, Putin highlighted their shared views on many geopolitical issues noting the two countries see eye to eye on several geopolitical challenges, including tensions on the Korean Peninsula, in Venezuela and the conflict in Syria. Xi called the Russian president a friend, and reiterated Putin's view, saying that our cooperation is based on mutual trust. While China and Russia maintain strong ties when it comes to trade, both sides have recently indicated they may be open to working together toward achieving another shared strategic goal, pushing back against U.S. influence. There are also recent indications that Moscow is intent on growing its influence globally, a push that will likely only escalate tensions with the U.S. Russia expanding influence in Pacific. As part of that effort, Russia has been expanding its presence in the Pacific region amid growing tensions in the disputed South China Sea, an issue that is particularly important to China. Beijing claims almost the entire 1.3 million square mile region as its sovereign territory and aggressively asserts its stake, with Xi saying it will never give up any inch of territory. 
but China is just one of several countries who lay claim to parts of the South China Sea along with the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei. Against the backdrop of this history, as we reflect on what the United States is now doing, we should ask whether the warning to the US about the most dangerous scenario could soon become a fact. For now, this means the US and its allies must pay attention to the growing cooperation between Russia and China, focus intelligence collection on understanding how far it is likely to go, do all they can to encourage a unified Europe, and strengthen the network of alliances, partnerships and friendships around the periphery of Asia. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get the latest news about military update and trend around the globe.